My name is Brad Petrosor. I'm uh, one of the orthopedic surgeons here at McMaster University. I work at the Hamilton General Hospital um, in orthopedic trauma and uh, foot and ankle reconstruction. And I'm also the program director of the uh, uh, orthopedic training program here at McMaster. We use the CAN-MED roles and guidelines from the Royal College to help achieve that goal and really empower the surgeons of tomorrow uh, with those aspects, um, evidence-based clinical care, creativity, professionalism, and uh, the capacity for lifelong learning. Being affiliated with McMaster uh, University provides this program with uh, opportunities like no other program. Uh, we have the opinion leaders in uh, evidence-based clinical care here at this institution. Uh, some of our faculty here are faculty at the uh, How to Teach Evidence-Based Medicine course that's put forward every uh, year uh, here. Um, and this is uh, an international course and this course is open to both all of our residents and faculty and, and uh, open to uh, everyone internationally. I'm Dr. Paul Masuna. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at uh, McMaster at the uh, McMaster site. My area of uh, specialty is pediatric orthopedics and uh, trauma, and uh, I do a lot of spinal deformity surgery, scoliosis uh, correction. And uh, I would like to welcome you all to uh, McMaster. I uh, personally want to reassure you that uh, McMaster is a well-balanced uh, program with a lot of opportunity where you are both nurtured and accountable. And accountability applies to both the staff and to the residents who are here. And my other comment that I can make is that when you are finished in the program, you will be an orthopedic surgeon with ability and experience. I think when you look at our residency program, we have some fantastic residents here now, and I think that's probably, in my opinion, the most important thing uh, at this point is that we have some great residents who are doing some really good work, and they're really good educators for the junior residents that are coming along. I think when you look at the program, there's a number of strengths in it. I think the balance between on-the-job educational experience with, with self-directed learning and with all the educational sessions, I think really by the end of the training, I think all our residents have done very well and really have the knowledge that they need to go on into practice. I think when you look, we have a fairly big program and that allows a relatively good call schedule. So I think there's some balance with personal life as well, a lot better, I know from personal experience in other programs. When you look at the future at this point, I think it's exceptionally good. Uh, there's a number of staff in this city that are really, really keen on making this the best program in Canada. Uh, there's a number of residents we have now that are just like they're just super residents and again they want to make this the best they can. So I, I think that over the next uh, few years we're definitely going to become uh, number one in Canada and I think I uh, would like you to join us so please consider uh, applying to our program and I would like to see you here in the future. Thank you. Uh, over my 10 years here I've seen a great evolution of the program in terms of having new staff surgeons being uh, hired. Um, and as a result, really all the subspecialties have been represented now. So I think your exposure to uh, the various facets of orthopedic surgery would be greatly uh, improved now that we really have surgeons from pretty much every single subspecialty area. Uh, in general, we have very good uh, relationships with the residents, uh, very collegial relationships, uh, where on a three-month rotation, I think you really do get to know the staff surgeon quite well, and the surgeon gets to know the resident very well. We have some significant changes happening at McMaster and I think these changes are going to be ongoing, improving the program in every which way. Some exciting things that I think will be developing are faculty development workshops as well as resident development workshops in terms of uh, all the CAN-MED competencies, uh, especially residents as teachers and I think that's a great thing to develop. Having grown up in Toronto um, and having immigrated from India to come here, uh, Really, Toronto was my life up until, uh, up until undergraduate education. Uh, I actually came to Hamilton uh, as a place to live as an undergraduate uh, student at McMaster University for two years. 
I then went to Toronto for four years of medical school, and then came back here as a staff surgeon. I think Hamilton has uh, great amenities locally uh, and in the surrounding areas. Um, if big city life is, is important to you, you can be in downtown Toronto in 40 minutes. If quiet countryside life is uh, for you, then really you have that all around. Uh, there's a fabulous trail system here that you can run and cycle and walk on. There's an annual uh, Paris to Ancaster bike race. Uh, Hamilton has the oldest uh, running race uh, on earth, even older than the Boston Marathon, and that's called the Around the Bay Race. And that happens every April or May, I believe. Uh, and runners from all over the world come for that. So if you're into that, which you can tell I am, um, then that's a great thing to come for. I trained at McMaster with my orthopedic training for five years. And then I did two fellowships afterwards, my first year in Ottawa with Don Johnson, uh, focusing on knee and shoulder surgery, especially the knee. And then my second year was at Cornell, uh, the Hospital for Special Surgery, where I trained um, in hip arthroscopy and general sports medicine. Uh, my role at Mac here is uh, as a sports medicine orthopedist, uh, hip, knee and shoulder. I have a special interest in hip pain in the young athlete. Um, I came back here because I felt that uh, I was prepared for my fellowship uh, extremely well and I wanted to give something back to the program. I never had a difficult time or any adjustment issues wherever I went and I felt I could compete with both the uh, elite of the so-called uh, uh, sports world in both U.S. and Canadian settings. So because of that I felt I should bring back some of the skills I learned and, uh, and contribute that back to McMaster. As far as other interests, um, I have an interest in the elite athlete as well. Uh, last year I worked with the U.S. women's Olympic team, uh, soccer team and also uh, with the uh, New Jersey Mets and the NBA and I hope that uh, with the residents coming in we can start to have some exchanges where we have the residents uh, go down to places where I train, New York for example, where they can be exposed to the elite athlete and hopefully facilitate their fellowship training and opportunities that way. I trained at Duke University in the United States and also at the University of Toronto. I'm a tumor surgeon and I also head up the resident research at McMaster. I'm also a surgeon scientist and I run a research lab at the Cancer Center in Hamilton and I study primary bone tumors, uh, particularly cell and molecular biology. I welcome any residents who come to McMaster if they're interested in doing basic science research uh, to come and join our team in the lab and we very much enjoy the input of clinicians, particularly surgeons and orthopedic residents. Uh, one of the strengths of McMaster is that we have basic science research, clinical research, both retrospective and prospective and as well one of the major strengths of our program and that I can speak to is that we have an oncology program and within Ontario not all universities have an oncology program so we are able to educate residents from Thunder Bay as well as Hamilton. Uh, we have Wednesday morning rounds where we learn tumor every week so by the end of your residency you should know tumor very well without having to feel like you're missing out on part of your education. My name is Brett Dunlop. We have a long proud history of success with our residency program we continue to uh, push forward to improve it. Uh, our staff has been regenerated and uh, re -innervated. To those applying to our program, I would say that one of our strengths is the success, both clinical and academic success, of our graduates. We've had people in, uh, that have gone to be community orthopedic surgeons and have uh, been uh, well received in their communities and done very well. And we've had uh, a number of, pay of our previous uh, students who have become academic orthopedic surgeons and also have been very successful. I think uh, one of the great strengths in our program is the collegiality that exists between the, uh, the staff and the residents. Um, the residents truly are a valuable member of the, of the orthopedic team to get into the more senior years. But I do really think that the staff and the residents have a very good relationship. And although there is still the, the staff resident hierarchy, I think that the, the staff and the residents enjoy a very friendly interaction on a daily basis. And we look forward and it's a pleasure to train the residents because we know they will be our colleagues in the near future. I just want to point out the fact that she's had no anesthesia here and she's having a reduction of her fracture and she's still smiling. You almost never see this. We're able to reduce fractures without causing any pain in this program.
I'm Dr. Dale Williams. I'm one of the assistant professors in the Department of Surgery for the Division of Orthopedics. I work in arthroplasty and trauma uh, at the Henderson site in uh, the city of Hamilton. I actually did my training here at McMaster University for orthopedics, went away, and then was lured back because I had uh, such a good time. We're a very resident-friendly and resident-focused program. We ensure that our trainees are absolutely prepared for uh, life as an orthopedic surgeon in the community or in an academic practice. McMaster offers, from an educational point of view, being part of evidence-based clinical care. From an academic point of view, uh, if one wants to pursue a clinical science, the uh, Masters in HRM, or Health Research Methodology, here at McMaster, uh, we've had a number of trainees go through that program, and this is uh, a very successful program. There are many great programs in Canada, and I went away for fellowship to Europe and realized that training within Canada, as put forward by the Royal College, is excellent no matter where you go.